We're at a Rancho de la Luna, and um, it was with Dave Catching, and he's the owner of the place. He lives there. Um, the studio in itself, I mean, has a pretty awesome history of bands and people that have recorded there over the years, and uh, just the vibe of the place was always something that I was pretty interested in, and I think these guys as well. Um, it's not a proper studio by any means, it's, it's, a, it's a house, and um, it just has a really cool character to it, you know, I like that fact that it's like the mixing consoles in the living room, and uh, you know, where you do the guitars is in like someone's bedroom, you know, and the bed's right there, and you just have this wall of amps all around it, you know, just had a cool kind of a feel to it. I like the fact that we were kind of isolated and stuck there, you know, it wasn't um, you know, we were recording and basically living on the premises for a week, you know, uh, which was kind of cool compared to going into the studio and going home later, you know, or, or going our separate ways after recording for a day. Uh, so yeah. it was kind of cool just to be 24 hours a day there. I also, like Mike said, I really like just kind of being in the studio at the place, you know, just only focus on the record for a whole week, you know what I mean? like. There was a house where the band stay up the, up the road, and we stayed in that house together. And it was cool. We just got a, you know, a bunch of groceries and made food in the morning, and, and uh, there was like a, he had a, a bunch of records there and a record player, and like just as a band, we were able to just kind of hang and like listen to records and just, you know, do that. And we haven't been able to do that in a long time, like just to really just kind of be like, oh, let's check this out, or, you know, uh, I don't know. It was a cool different inspiration to go into the studio the following morning and just kind of be like inspired and you know and stuff so it's a cool uh, experience lots of amazing gear like especially for a guitar I had a good time with that Shit. and uh There's tons of guitars there. yeah Amps. yeah very very good sounding stuff and uh Dave Catching and John Russo were awesome to work with super fun guys shooting BB guns and Eating food, barbecue, barbecue. <laughs> right. We love food. <laughs> so, yeah. so if you ever have a chance to have Dave catch and barbecue for you, don't turn it down. <laughs> don't say no. <laughs>